So this will be the first post I'm reading from My Post Life by me, Stephanie Hoover, based off of character Alice Ellison. The first one I'm going to read, obviously, will be from January, and this is an illustration that my illustrator, Liz, did. There are 12 in all, one for each month, to kind of encompass what the whole month was about. This one, Alice is kind of trying to find the yin to her yang. And it starts with January 1st at 5.06 p.m. Alice Ann. Why are customers too dumb to press 1 and listen to the store hours, but can press 3 and annoy me? Oh well, I'm laying down now. I don't feel good. Ugh. Guess it's my turn now, huh? Good gravy. Literally, about the only thing I was paid for today was to say, yes, we're open. Till 8 when we close. Okay. My response to them justifying why they couldn't simply press 1, being as how it was their first option. Come on, folks. At least I had the good sense to call another local retailer and follow their prompts to get a last-minute Christmas gift. It's easy. They ask you if you want directions, store hours, a specific department, etc. Don't press the number for a specific department if you're going to ask for directions. Also, I don't need to know your first and last name, what city you're from, and your whole life story that has nothing to do with knowing what time the store is open till. Listen. I don't give a fuck if your kid threw the Wemo at your TV Larry Hendricks from Chi-Town. No protection plan on earth will cover your child's irresponsibility and your bad parenting. What was quite humorous was the fact that no one I worked with believed that's all I said throughout the day. Not until five times in a row my coworkers heard, yes, eight. Yep. Bye. Eight. Yes. Okay. Have a good day. Eight. Yep. Bye. Yes. Till eight. I pretty much burned a permanent scowl onto my face and began resenting the number eight. My daughter's age can best be referred to as between seven and nine. Why, oh why, could no one in my city figure out that one held all of the answers to their oh-so-simplistic questions? I also love hearing, are you open, as if I'd be there for any other reason. No, we're closed. My manager just hates me that fucking much that he appointed me the only employee to chill at the store to tell people that we are in fact closed today. If only there were some type of device to record a voice stating whether or not we're open. Oh wait, there is. Yes, my fellow people are freaking morons. Morons! Press one for the love of God. Press one for the love of my sanity. It was your first option. How in the hell did you get to three? Or at least ask me a legitimate question. Something. Welcome to the world progressing into the movie Idiocracy. No joke. If you haven't yet, see that movie and take a good look around. You're living it. At least I've got my fake sweet foam voice down. It's a lot easier to fake sweet and nice while rolling my eyes, banging my head against the desk, or making stabbing or choking motions in the air. I try not to bottle up my crazy for too long. That's how serial killers are made. No assembly required. And that was the first post of many to come from the book My Post Life by me, Stephanie Hoover.